AstraZeneca and Benevolent AI signed a collaboration in April 2019 and this collaboration really focuses on two disease areas, uh, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis and chronic kidney disease. Um, and for each of these two disease areas, we have multidisciplinary teams working together to generate new targets for these disease area. This collaboration is really about playing to each partner's strengths. The collaboration between AstraZeneca and Benevolent AI brings together data and disease expertise from AstraZeneca with machine learning and AI expertise from Benevolent in order to really make some inroads in treating two very disabilitating diseases. For me, what is really exciting is bringing scientists from different backgrounds and um, from both the Benevolent side and from the AstraZeneca side and um, together in one team and for the purpose of drug discovery. Together we have built a CKD specific knowledge graph. We're focusing on chronic kidney disease as 10% of the world's population live with chronic kidney disease. And currently there's no standard of care for these patients that really treat the underlying cause of the disease. It's a complex disease and we therefore need to understand the biology and the large data set in much more details. And that we can do with benevolent AI. So this collaboration is important because we are increasingly generating much more data. And one of the difficulties we have as we're generating more data is how we really can make holistic use of that. So we're looking at using AI machine learning to help with that. We're putting um, people who are, have expertise in the biology, uh, the clinical aspects of chronic kidney disease in the same room as the people who have skill sets in machine learning, data science and bioinformatics. Um, working together, um, we are really able to leverage both expertise in the particular disease area, but also leverage the data in the best way, in the most efficient way possible. The collaboration is really a success because we have created one team. Instead of having two teams, now we have one team with different views, different capabilities, and by integrating all of that into one team, we now have the possibility to do something we have never done before.